welcome back to the, the brew. brew, where I have pushed the microphone closer to Jobenshire so that he can actually sound as bassy and nice as me. And I, uh, I really appreciate that opportunity to be here uh, and to sound as good as you. Um, but now I'm a little offended because my mug doesn't look as cool as your mug. Yeah, I got, uh, I got myself one of these official brew mugs. You know, slightly out of focus, but still just as cool. Um, you may notice uh, by our outfits that we're wearing the same clothes from the last few episodes yeah. because we do film multiple episodes. And if any of you think, like, oh, man, they must just have one cup of coffee. They call it the brew, but after that, they don't drink more coffee. There's more coffee. We're filled up. You can't... We more. had we had brew for the first two episodes. Mm. I thought that'd be funny to, like, slurp so that you knew that was it was in there, but I just burnt my lip in the process of yeah, trying to do uh, that. It's, it's hot coffee. It's, it's hot off the press, as so they say. So brew days get really weird for us after we're done filming. Yeah, you might notice it's, like, the first episode I release in a line of episodes, we're really energetic. The second one, we're losing it a little bit. Third and fourth, we're right back up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is, uh, in this batch of videos, we are filming uh, Beyond Theros is, is out. It's a set that we're, we're looking at. And we are going to be taking a step back, though, and I think looking at some older cards and splashing in some new cards. Well, I mean, correct, right? yes. Now, this deck idea came about because of this new creature. Uh, he is an... Oh, it is a new creature. creature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So it is from the new set. We got Dalakos, Crafter of Wonders. Now, he is a 2-4 for 3, uh, which is already great on health if you're against, like, a burn deck, uh, because they'll have to spend multiple spells unless they're running Lava Coil to kill him. Uh, he taps for two colorless, spend this mana only to cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifacts. Equip, this is the cool part, equipped creatures you control have flying and haste. Oh, this is gonna be one bad boy. Is he legendary? He is legendary. He is legendary. However, you brought up another card. He is a uh, renowned weaponsmith. He's a 1-3 for 2. Now, this is great because he's only 2. So this is a 2 and then a 3. Uh, and this guy is not legendary, so we can have 4. Do you Morgan? want to have 4 of each? You know, why not? Yeah, this you is You know, the... there will be one match inevitably where we have three of him because that's what happens! And this is great because I actually, when I first ran the deck, I was like, do I need green? And I was running green because I was like, I want to ramp up to being able to do stuff like God, Pharaoh. So, when are like three of these? Three of those, okay. They're legendary is the only thing. Now, you used to be able to copy. There used to be something that could copy an artifact. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, but now that's out of standard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Split the difference. We should be running some is it cards. Let's look now, at our... let me just go ahead and say this because I, I like this card. Ionize. It's great. Three or four? Four? Uh, we'll do four for now. Okay. We can maybe get what rid of What kind of equipment are we putting in? All right. So the reason I was running green before is I was running Rose Thorn Halberd. Now, this is really nice because. Oh, that's my favorite character from the office. Jim Halpert. Halibird. I don't like Jim Halibird. When Roseburn Halibird enters the battlefield, uh, attach to target non-human creature you control. So for four, I was popping that on Dalakos and he had haste right away. It's really nice. Uh, that being said, we're not gonna run green this time around. So, the uh, things that we could do, we, uh, of course we have Renowned Weaponsmith, and he searches, if we would like, for a Heart Piercer Bow or a Vial of Dragonfire. So we could run some Heart Piercer Bows. Uh. One damage target creature defending player controls, so would be actually good against red deck because we could yeah. pop the dudes. Yeah, we do of them. Two, two heart piercers, uh, maybe. Obviously, the best equipment in the game. I like this one, mirror shield. Not bad. Gives hex proof. That's that why I great. like it. Yeah, throw throw two of those. I'm gonna say three. Okay. Uh, and of course, the spear. Oh, shadow spear, incredible. Yeah. Four or three? Four. Emery. Lurker of the Lock. When the spell, uh, the spell costs one less to cast for each artifact you control. Uh, when Emery Lurker of the Lock enters the battlefield, put the top four cards of your library in your graveyard. Uh, you can choose target artifact card in your graveyard and cast that card this turn if you tap it. Uh, phenomenal for if you happen to ditch something like these or these or whatever. It's great with equipments because you can pull them back from your graveyard. We, we are running some artifacts um, and there is a colorless snack. Oh, that is pretty great so to use. good. Yeah. Serpent. Uh, Stone Coil Serpent, protection from multicolor. Just phenomenal. Yeah, give him a We're four. We're just gonna do four yeah. of those. Yam, yam, yam. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. Embercleave. Three of? Maybe two, because we're not 
the amount of creatures that we're gonna have attacking. Uh, not... But you don't need to worry about that dropping the cost. You have ramp for it. Yeah. Two ember cleave. Is there something we want one of that we only have three of right now? What about a nimbus? That not does a nimbus that make sense? Yes, it does. I think. Now, all right. Here's what I'm worried about. Let's put a. I don't have. Oh, I do. Okay. Um, I'm worried that we don't have enough card draw. Uh, okay. Well. As for card draw, we have you Royal have, Science. You have, we can have this guy pull out the Heart Piercer bows if we don't have them in our hand. Uh, you also have uh, that Emery looks for stuff, but only if it's artifacts. You can try two of um, the look at the top seven cards of your library. Put two of them in your hand. Which one? What's it called? It's a four drop blue spell. This is fine. Seven cards. Put two of them in your hand. The rest of the bottom of your library. So how two of them? You think? Two of them? We're only running one set of counter spells. Also, all right. What are we getting rid of? Put two in. Oh, what uh, what are we at? Are we at 60? We're at 60, yeah. Um, we can get rid of one statue, maybe. One statue. And then maybe we get rid of one renowned weaponsmith. Just down to three. Yeah. All right, so steam vents, obviously. And Let's then four do of that. You want four temple? Because uh, you don't have as much card draw. As and we year. also don't have anything on turn one. Let's do three. Okay. And then we're going to obviously do four fable passage. Now for the audience's favorite part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's name that deck. What's his name? Ba -do -ba -do, name Dalakos. that deck. Do -do -do -do, I got it. Deck. I already got it. What do you got? So his name is Dalakos or Dalakos. Da Dalakos less. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say uh, West Dalakos, but uh, that's good. That's good. You like Dalakos it? Dalakos less. Yeah. We're here playing Dalakost less. We're, we're drinking brew? We're drinking brew. Probably more brew than we need now. Yeah, no, this is... I'm already feeling awake. This is just because I enjoy it. Yeah. I do love it. <sighs> Look at that. Rakdos. Rakdos versus Jace. Dude, are you excited about the Netflix show? I don't know. What What about it? I think, it'll be, uh, I think it's going to be anime style, but... All right, we well, have Dalakos. Uh, we can use it to ramp Stone Coil. We have Dawn of Dreams. We have Scry. Yeah, this is good. Opponent goes first, so it, it's not bad. Our opponent goes first, so it is bad, is what I would say, but, you know, whatever. If we can Scry into the our three-drop Planeswalker, actually, I'd feel pretty oh, good. Hey, look what we're up against. Look, protection from Multicolored, not going to help us this game. Not going to help us here. Drew another land, not what we needed to see. Definitely get rid of that. Yep. No. <laughs> well, we can't play it anyway. I don't know. what We could play it for zero. Oh, we could play it for zero. Do it. <laughs> do it. We can play a 2-2, honestly. Uh, are these guys gonna be- yeah, do it because then they can't- uh, he can't play anything. Do it. Sometimes X is 2 when you're playing against red deck. So he's gonna cast, uh, Rimrock on that. Oh, Infuriate. I don't even know what this card is. Well, he killed my Serpent. And you know, ah, there's the Light of the Sage, he had it. Why did he not- oh, he has Ember Cleave. So, uh, and he's gonna be able to play it next uh, turn if he has really? a land. If he has- if he has He has a to land. have one land next turn to kill it. Or to do it. Okay. Well. Okay. Uh, well, we that can play. That means he has to land. He's playing Ember Cleave next turn. Well, might as well play one of your your legendaries here. Choose target artifact card in your graveyard. You may cast it this turn. So we could play the Serpent again. Uh, we can cast it for zero though. Well, this guy has higher toughness, and we have two of them, so yeah. we can block the Ember Cleave creature. We don't have anything that kills creatures. That's why I was saying we could. We, uh, Beacon Bolt might be a good one. What does Beacon Bolt do? Does damage equal the number of instants and sorceries? So we'd have to add more, probably. Then I feel like we're pulling away from the equipment. It's like, what kind of deck are we trying to make? So he has the land. Do we just let him hit us for four? It's only four damage. Yeah. So no blocks. And then hope for the best here. Yeah. Five total damage. It's not even that bad. Actually, we would have killed it if we blocked it. But are we would have lost our guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. We messed up again. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Um, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Draw red. red. Well, we can still block it next turn. Ah, uh, it's waiting on you. Oh. Oh, it's because he put a pause in my turn or some shit. Um, sorcery. So we have to do it now, or we could play Emery. What's Emery gonna get us? Um, we don't have any artifacts. Yeah. Now. All right. Yeah, we want to play him for cheap. Okay. So what do we want? God, Farron's not gonna do us any good. Uh, probably a snake and uh that. First strike actually helps us against his yeah. cleave thing. Heart piercer, ionize, two of them. So we Maybe could two take snakes and just start getting big guys out there. 
The problem true, is he's true, start making true. his guys um, unblockable. Unblockable. Yeah, we can make a two-two. Oh no, we can't. He just came out. Oh, we we could. Yeah, because do you want to make a two-two? Uh, yeah. The problem is we don't have anything to stop this tin street now. We we needed to block it last turn. Yeah. All right, whatever. Because oh wait, wait, no, because now we needed to block this. If he makes the mistake of not doing the unblockable, he's n he's going to make him unblockable. He w like he's got the game, one in two turns. Resolve. Doesn't have haste, does he? Oh. Okay. Yeah. He... Well, too late. Too late. Blocks too late, bud. Even made. Look at this red deck player who just doesn't even know how to play the game. Just plays red deck because he knows it. It's gonna win him. It's gonna win for him. Oh, it's when any creature dies, you make a satyr. Oh, nice. That equips for three, yeah. dude. What a man. What a bonkers card. Oh, hey, look at that. <sighs> All right. Well, we're gonna go to the next game. Yeah. Um. What? So what worked? What didn't work? We are like pretty I, much live tape here, trying to make a deck that could work. All right. Here's what I think we should add. Shocks. Not even. Okay. Let's say I don't know. We need to make room. One less Emery. Maybe one less Dalakos. Maybe we get rid of the Nibmazek, because aggro is going to be our problem. Yeah. Where are you? Is Storm's Wrath. Oh. Four damage to each creature and each Planeswalker. Okay. Now, if we have Dalakos out, of course it kills us, but like in that situation, we would have done it anyway. Yeah. Maybe we... Do we want to do three or two? You want to make sure you get it if you're using it. We, well, we could do that and then like something else that's similar... We could do Lava Coil for, like, a single target one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we, we just need more removal, I think. All right, now, now we're... You know, we're uh, making some moves. Yeah, we're making some changes, making some moves. Uh, feeling the flow, working it. We can uh, pull a Heart Piercer out. We can equip him and make him good. We, we can, can give him Hexproof and yeah, shit. Yeah, we can just pump that guy up a Opponent lot. goes first, of course. Uh, Shadow Spear comes out. Shadow Spear! Oh, well, this is going to be rough, probably, because it's going to be go. big dudes. Let's see where we get. Now we do this, and we play him. And unfortunately, he does not have haste. We could make a 5-5 five, five Serpent next turn. Uh, it's not a bad idea. Because then we can make him a 6-6 six, six Trample uh, with lifelink. True. No, we're not. We can do nothing. We huh. can just do nothing. Bummer. Let's just play Mirror Shield, I guess. Get ready to put yeah. stuff on our stone coil. Yeah. Um, we're gonna be taking damage, but you know. Still that was a damage. one cost spell. Uh, you can control the one one counter on yeah. it. Oh my god. For those who know me, know that I've been trying to do a mono green proliferate deck for a while. And I think oh my this god. is that. Oh. Eh, we're dead. Probably eh no, because we can make a Stone coil and like give him, you know. We can't give him first strike though. Oh, with the death touch! That thing breaks death touch! Yep. Hold on. Alright, we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Yay, the something blue. We are drawing a lot of land though. Alright, we have to make this a 4 4. And so that just stops the troll. We're gonna take four, possibly six damage. We're up against some mono After green. this, we have lifelink. We protect him. He's got hexproof. We could come back. We could come back as long as it doesn't die this turn. He had another Concede. one. Yeah, he had the perfect hand. No I matter what. I think that all the decks right now are, are really so, strong. They're just very consistent. Yeah, they're very consistent. That it's It feels a little hearthstone-y to me. I, I like this. This is good. If we get Dalakos the shield, then we yeah. can start doing some fun stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, turn one. Wait, are we going first or second? Second. Huh? Of course. Of course. Of course. A horse is a horse. If we get the spear... Oh, good. Another land. Just what we needed. Just what we needed! I guess you're not what I needed. All right, we can uh -oh. play Weaponsmith now. Yeah, that's... Oh. Because now we can Ooh. play a hit, Ooh. and we can immediately Ooh. equip the shield. We can play this. Dalakos, play the shield. We, oh, we can't we, equip we can't it. Equip oh, look, more magic. Okay. What is this? Colorado? <clears throat> Dalakos? Yeah, play Dalakos. Dalakos. All right, oh, unless we'll... you're getting quail quenched. Might get quenched. Who might get quenched? I wasn't even paying attention. Ooh, we weren't quenched. Um, he might 
He might negate. Let's do hard piercer bow, I guess, yeah. in case he negates. Oh, because he couldn't negate, yeah. What does he have? Well, we can equip both of these guys and give them flying. Is he looking for a third land? Almost. So you Or a third style? Yep. Yep. There's the American deck. All right, fires? No fires. Okay. Well, let's make this next guy hexproof so we don't have to deal with this crap. Yeah. Well, he's only going to be a 1 3. He oh. Or let's just play this so he can never play a spell for the rest of the game. Hopefully he has no negate. Please no negate. Ah! 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 Suck a wiener. I was even thinking about taking uh, the two of those out, throwing in two Nivmazettes, but I'm liking. I'm liking. I'm so liking, I can't go out on a full moon. I'm not liking you right now. <laughs> <laughs> he can't play Agent of Treachery, though. That took five mana to play a Bone Crusher. I just want to point that out. Hey! Okay. Resolve. Mirror Shield. Resolve. Play yep. this on Dalakos. Yep. Dalakosless! So I think like we can just block his dude because yeah. he can't do anything. Like we'll block the four three, and if he tries to we like, can just start pinging also. Or we just take four. Let's not even risk it because he could buff his guy with like Rim Rock or something. All right. Well, now he can't play Rim Rock, so we can just block the four three if he swings. I'm more. Uh, I guess you're hexproof. Yeah. That's we that. can equip the Hard Piercer. That doesn't give us plus one. No, but we can just equip it just because. Give him flying. <laughs> Aha! I wonder if the equipment is, in fact, good enough. The hard piercer? It's literally only in there because of him. And the crazy thing, like, if we had a stone coil serpent, for instance. Oh, counter it because yeah. you're going to lose your dude. He was going to try and get rid of this God he Pharaoh statue. Try. But he couldn't get rid of God Pharaoh statue with that card. We need a. Uh, oh, is it only creature? With, uh, and with. It low drop creature. So who's going to take your blue guy? Um, See, now this is where you need Ember Cleave. The only good equipment in here. Alright, well, we're, sl we're slowly killing him. So, it's only the creature, so there's no reason to do anything outside of this. We're going to pull the one card out of our deck. My turn. Oh, hey! That, it, it does something for us. Yeah, but we can swing now because... It doesn't get Vigilance, though, does it? No, but it doesn't matter because, like... Well, maybe it does matter. We could give it to the Weaponsmith and have the Weaponsmith swing. Yeah. We'll do that. Resolve. Equip for two. Yeah, you're doing two damage regardless. Well, no, I guess the other one would have done three damage. We need better... I, I think we need, like... Need some better equipment? Yeah. Think? Yeah, I agree. I just don't think there is better equipment. No, there's probably something. Yeah, we might have to splash another color. There's actually really good stuff in white. Equipment? Yeah. Okay. So we might have to splash white. And we can just start killing him. Like, he's at 11, we're at 22. That's true. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Well, he can take the Hexproof guy, which is great. Yeah. He could take the mirror thing back to my hand, though. Yeah. Or he can pop the fat the statue. Yeah. And then play it. Yeah. So, uh, Moo, I guess I was going to say re-equip the, the spear on this turn. Equip. Be sure that you hit the... Wait. Oh, wait. Why can't you equip? Oh, because oh, you it, can only it, do it as a sorcery. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's all right. He can get four damage in. Yeah, he can't cast anything yeah, for two. Yeah, he's got nothing he can yeah. do. So we'll block one. Okay, so what we can do is... My turn. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's great! That kills everything but not you. Haha. -ha. Resolve. Thank you. <laughs> Equip. Yeah. Resolve. Swinger dinger. <laughs> All right. Well, look at that. We're back to twenty-one. Okay, cool. Well, let's just equip this. Well, why not? Why not? Why not? Oh, and he's taking damage each turn. Yeah. From the statue. Yeah! Alright! Yeah! Now you need a snack. Actually, yeah, you need a snack. You need 
I guess you have some other stuff that can really help you out. Your planeswalker gives you, uh, oh boy. It's not flying. It's not flying. And he doesn't have enough mana to give it haste. It doesn't it cost one? Oh, it costs two. Right. I mean, he's dead very soon. Yeah, well, you, you can race him down, which is great. Oh, well, we won. That's the guy we were looking for. Um, so what we do is we play this guy. Resolve. And then we just equip him with... Uh, sure. This, let's say. Oh, no. no, no, no. It just, yeah, we just out. move one of them into him to give him haste. So we okay. give him the heart piercer. The heart, uh, sure. Um, that one. Equip to him. And now you still have the three. Okay, and you can still put out your guy to give him, uh, to pump him up. Resolve. Now this guy's gonna die, and that's fine, because you, you've done what you need to do. Who's gonna die? I think die? you won. Yeah, I think you just win. Well, yeah. we only do. Oh, yeah, because we, we do six. Boom. Because, yeah, he has haste. Resolve. Look Swing that. in. Look at that. Look at that. Can't block. The ha ha. Goes there. And then Dalakos. And then God Pharaoh statue. God Pharaoh for the win! Hey! Yeah. You know what? God Pharaoh statue, he may have had land, but it was depleting him of like mana that he wanted to cast other things yeah. during his turn. Let, let's just look uh, what options there are in white, white equipment. Mace of the Valiant. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one for each charge counter on Mace of the Valiant and his Vigilance. Whenever a creature enter, enters the battlefield under your control, put a charge counter on Mace of the Valiant. That one's okay. I don't think you have the creature play for it. Though. That is the Vigilance. Oh, and it, and it has Vigilance. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay. Um, what are the other ones? Shining Armor. When Shining Armor uh, attaches a target knight you control, plus O plus two in Vigilance. So these are where the Vigilance comes yeah. in. Ancestral Blade enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token, then attach Ancestral Blade to it. Creep Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one. So it, makes so it, two, two, it would be a two, two haste. Out. We can try it, sure. Let's, let's throw in, uh, let's splash in some white. Um, what are we removing for these, though? Just the heart piercers? We get, I mean, yeah. Renowned Weaponsmith is good. Do we need, eh, we it's good, it. it's good. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, lose the heart piercers because there's better equipment now. But he pulls the heart piercers. It doesn't matter. Okay. We don't need that. Like that, maybe we lose both of those. It's card draw, but you know what? Yeah, we only have two anyway. Yeah. Okay, so um, Mace of the Valiant is really good, yeah. I think. One, two, two? Two, and then two of the um, Ancestral Blades. Good. It doesn't give, this one doesn't give Vigilance though. That's fine. Just made the fact that it makes a 2 2 haste. It, it makes it 2 2 haste, and if you have uh, your 3 drop legendary out, it then it's going to. It triggers for the charge on the on the mace. It triggers. Oh, because a creature enters. Yeah. It doesn't say non token. Um, so do we want a fourth mace or something? No, I think. We could we could technically do like one less stone coil. Yeah, I'm concerned about having creatures, yeah. Yeah, and also our, our board wipe is killing more things now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Land. Oh yeah. So we have uh, eight total white sources, which should be should enough. Be good. We have four, eight, twelve red sources, and four, uh, eight, twelve blue sources. Right. I think this is good, especially especially because we have fabled passage. Yeah. So right now our only card draw is Dawn of Dr uh, Drawn from Dreams and Royal Scion, which is not bad. Okay, I'm a little concerned. I'm like wondering, do we have too much equipment now? The only thing is this makes a creature, so technically you could count it as a creature. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's, let's give see. it a shot. America equipment. Well, there's the Ember Cleave. We, we've got. We can pull the blue to play renowned weaponsmith, mm -hmm. and we have the white to okay. equip Mace of the Valiant okay. to him. This is okay. This is good. This is a good turn. We go first. At what? We're gonna pull a blue land, please. One blue land. Please. I would like. An island, please. This one, if you would. Tournament grounds. All right. He's a night deck. Here we go. So he's gonna be running Ember Cleave as well. At least we can block. Yeah. So we Mace of the Valiant, and then we do we play the Mirror Shield instead of attacking next turn? Well, you have to tap him to be able to equip anything, anyways. My guess is uh, that sucks. we're gonna lose Ember Cleave. It's fine. Oh yeah. Or he, or if he's smart, I would say if he's smart, he would get rid of Drawn from Dreams. I would uh, remove card draw over Ember Cleave because as I'm looking at this, I'm like, he's got one creature in equipment. Yeah. He's not playing that Ember Cleave soon. 
but we do ramp into Embercleave. But we also don't have double red. Yeah, he's, he doesn't know what to do, which is great. If he gets rid of Embercleave, I'm happy. I want Drawn from Dreams. I think your next move is to um, put out the land, then do... No, he got rid of the mace. Okay. This is our second red for Embercleave, by the by. Okay, that's good. So we can play this tapped, actually. Yeah. And then do... Mirror Shield. Resolve. And then equip to you. Now he's a 1-5 Hexproof. It's not bad. Yeah. If only we had the mace. Uh, oh, we have the Ember Cleave. Yeah, we can <clears throat> we can equip him next turn, but he won't be able to attack. Yes, that is that is correct information. So do we want to equip the Ember Cleave just to have it yeah. equipped? Yeah. Two six double strike hex proof. <laughs> it's just funny. Do we and we don't have the two blue though. Uh, he can get rid of the ember cleave. Oh. Uh, I wonder if he'll get rid of the hex proof instead. No, nope, ember cleave gone. Okay. But now my evil laugh was for nothing. Yeah. You shouldn't have evil laughed. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. One turn too late. I uh, don't. I would. I'd maybe save that. No attacks. Yeah, no attacks. You just stop whatever they do next, and we're hoping for Snack. I think uh, Snack would be good. Um, Counter! Yeah, he only has black. Yeah, that's fine. Resolve. What, do I, did I enable something that makes me have to resolve everything? I don't know. It's fine. It's probably better this way anyway, so I can check myself before I wreck myself. <laughs> Which you do wreck yourself quite often, sir. Very often. And now we're going to find some of those cards. We're going to find some of those cards right now. That would be funny. But at least they'd go on the bottom of the library. <gasps> God Pharaoh and Stone Coil. We, we have two Shadow Spears that are disappearing. I think if we do that... We run four, though, right? Do we? We're losing a lot of equipment, but... All right. Does he, he has Trample already. Yeah, just take the Snake. All right. If he has another one of those things that makes us discard, though, it's going to be real sad. Yeah, I think we would have seen it already. My turn. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, uh, Pharaoh. Yeah, for sure. How do you feel about that? Mata truck? Oh, hey, I didn't switch this. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and now we're pinging him. The now ping has begun. The ping has the begun. The ping is low, but it'll it'll do its Oh, job. we can play him and give him Hexproof in the same turn, and then he has haste. Great. Oh, jeez, look at this. Look at this. So and then this? And hard. Well, do we snack? Do we snack next turn? Yeah, we snack next turn. Boom. Resolve. So he he might have destroy all creatures. We got to be aware of that. He's such an aggro. I wonder what's in his hand. He's I'm got banishing confused. light though. Like, why is he running banishing light if he's an aggro deck? Uh, there's a lot of stuff that causes problems. It's just a good main board card right now if you're running white. I have a feeling he's gonna board wipe us. Well, may he board wipe us with um with our snack in hand. Because then we can just equip the hell out of the snake. He can target Dalakos right now, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. It only took your entire turn, or the entirety of your mana to do that. It did. And he took two damage. He might have another Murder Strider. He can't play he it. He can't play it next turn, yeah. And we have Ion Eyes, so we can actually just make it a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, and keep... Uh... Uh, so, 1, 2... Three, four, five. Wait, 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 wait. Do you have? We oh, have yeah, one red, one red. blue. I thought it was two yeah. blue and a red. All right. Uh, X equals five. Auto pay. All right. And then we counter whatever they do next turn, and we kill whatever he tries to do. Yeah, this is good, dude. I think. Uh, dude. Yeah, I think. You know. I'm pretty excited. I know. I'm sure there's some some um, fixes that we can make in this deck, but. But it's starting to look okay. Yeah. Banishing light. Oh, I think we're gonna oh, ionize that. Yeah, I sir. think we are, sir. I think that's uh, what's happening to that. Uh, and just concede. Well, oh, ooh, lava coil. So let's go ahead and lava coil his uh, rider. Yep, his rider. We don't need him gaining any life here. Boom. Uh, resolve. And make our our a snack, guy hexproof. Uh, hexproof. Yep. Hexproof. Snackproof. Yep. Snackproof. Snackproof. Resolve. Sweet. Next. So we're hitting him for five. Boom, man! A third God Pharaoh might be. It does. It's not. Bad. Although we're we're digging to it. Is it, it a legendary the... artifact? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so you can only have one. So yeah. two might be the right two number. Might be the right number. 
but it's just so good when it hits. I, I'd almost want a third um, card draw. A okay, third I, draw, drawn from yeah. the dreams is really good. That's how we found it. Look yeah. at the top seven, it's insane. He can't target either of our creatures. Oh, hey! And that is the win. That, uh, yeah. Adding the white was a great option. Yeah, so let's review just a little bit here. Uh, Dalla cost less. And uh, let's take a look. Now, um, obviously the deck is based on these two boys. Dalakos, Crafter of Wonders. Obviously if you're making this kind of deck, this guy is basically necessary. You need him. You 100% need him. Uh, the, the adding haste and flying gives the evasion and the ability to just start swinging. So if you do are ramping up and getting that equipment on him, it's just good. Yeah. Um, heroes of the deck right now, Ember Cleave and God Pharaoh Statue. Also adding the Storm's Wrath worked out really well. It did. It's gonna because help you. Because once you also have the shield on there, that gives you the plus two that protects your guys. Mm hmm Yeah, in fact, both of these guys survive with the shield mm -hmm. on them. Um, Ancestral Blade gives you uh, a 2-2 two -two Haster, so it's like if you are against a control deck, and you know you you like need to get start getting damage in and stuff. Yeah. It also if Dalakos is out gives it flying. Mm -hmm. And and again a two two might stop some of the one one um, from red aggro. Uh, we didn't really see the planeswalkers come out. Uh, but it I came out one time. It ended that game. It did. It gave us the extra life. Now uh, normally drawn from dreams. Now we talked about p potentially adding a third one. I don't know a good one. Uh, drawn from dreams. So what if we what were gonna add one red card we have lava oh, coil maybe lose a lava coil It did come into play last game did it yeah, we, we oh, lava yeah. coiled the rider But we like had the win anyways. Yeah, I mean one lava coil is like, you know, what's a one of yeah. removal But so it's like we could do and theoretically it's like if you did drawn from dreams uh, with lava coil, it's like you you'll find you'll it, find you your it. you'll find your storm's wrath. So Let it's like, hey, yeah. let's just do this right yeah. now. So, so that now you know, which when he puts the deck list down below, it's already updated for you. Boom! It's a good deck. I think it it's working. It's a good deck. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. We didn't have to craft this card today, but we. I already I crafted it last night, so. So you know, uh, we've we've crafted it to see if it works, so that you don't have to, and that's what the point of the brew is. And uh, if you really want to help support, uh, you know, you can buy some brew mugs. You can buy some brew mugs right there, just like that. We have uh, down below, it's got the little thing where you can start looking into that. This is a black one, so we also, let me talk about the design a little bit. So we wanted the design to look like a magic card. So we have like the symbols oh, there. nice, and you got um, the white. And then the white in the middle, so we got all the colors. Uh, much like, let's just, just show you what I'm talking about. So if you just look at the, uh, this, this is every See color the of the magic. See the there. So there's the connection. Deep cuts. Um, we also uh, let me go ahead and go back to full screen real quick. Um, so this is offered in just white, which I think looks the cleanest. Yeah. Just the plain white, because uh, for some reason Teespring has this like white strip. It looks okay still though. Um, is it machine washable? Yeah, yeah. This can go in your. Uh, it can, but will it start to chip away? I've washed it a couple times in my dishwasher, and okay. there's no chipping so okay, far. Okay, then that's good. That's great. Um, and then I, there's also a brown option, and I specifically included that just so it's like more an like actual a magic card. That's more cool. like an actual I magic I card. One. Um, so, anyways, down below you can buy these mugs. There you go. So uh, that's it. That's it. That's the brew. That's the brew. And uh, now uh, we're both not at the same time. Gonna go poop. Yep. Bye. Maybe at the same time. No. Okay. Gross.